Hey all here, OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of the Caesar Aura. I always enjoy looking at unique tech products, and this is a good example of that. It's a smart scanner slash smart lamp combination that sells for 180 bucks. It, it was also a successful Indiegogo campaigned product, and the company has released a first-generation scanner called just the Caesar, and that one sold for about 450 bucks about a year or two ago. So they have reduced the cost and made it smaller and a lot more affordable for this newer generation. Now the box here is very impressive. It's probably one of the largest boxes that I've seen. It almost doesn't fit onto this table. So by scanning, I'm referring to physical pieces of paper that you want to digitize onto a PDF uh, format or into a text format for your computer. So you would uh, simply use this on an office desk, maybe if you're a student or in an office environment, and you can then scan up to 300 pages in 20 minutes. So it's a very quick and efficient scanner. This is kind of what it looks like. And I believe there's also gonna be software that will help you improve the quality of your scans in terms of alignment, things like that, which we'll see in a moment. So inside the premium gamer like packaging, we have an envelope on top that says Caesar, the company's logo, and we have a CD-ROM for installing the software on a computer. You can tell that the entire thing is folded down, so it's actually quite small uh, compared to a regular table lamp. What looks like a mat for optimal scanning, so it turns the surface of the desk black. So it's kind of like a massive computer or mouse pad that is made of a slightly different texture on the inside where it's touching the surface versus the outside. And we also have a foot pedal in here. So how we can achieve that really high speed is uh, for you to, you know, maybe use this foot button uh, that you can press on whenever you want to scan a next page. Another small box for the power adapter. And again, this is what the plug looks like. It's a round tip. We also have a USB cable for connecting the lamp onto the computer for actually saving and transferring out the scans. And it's actually using that standard port that you see with a lot of printers, uh, as opposed to micro USB or USB type C. So the overall construction does feel quite good. And again, the arm here can be fully closed back in here for easy storage. And then on the back of the lamp, we have basically just where the camera sensor and the LEDs are located, since that is where it flips outwards into that regular position when fully extended. We also have a few different lasers that will try and position and very quickly focus the camera. Now the camera does have a 14 megapixel sensor, because there's actually a color LCD display on the top, which if you're looking down and standing up, you'll still be able to see kind of a preview of what you're scanning. Let's try turning it on, so tapping on this power key for a few seconds until the LEDs pop onto life. There are also LEDs on the very base here that tells you the status, and in this mode I can control the brightness just by turning the dial, which is very easy to do, and it's a it's very mechanical feeling, kind of like an iPod back in the day. So I can get it brighter, this is the maximum brightness, and I can also dim it if I want to turn it counterclockwise. So dimming everything else in the room, I would say it's bright enough to do some reading and some homework without disturbing others, but it's also not the brightest lamp in the world. Uh, the LEDs in terms of the maximum brightness could be a little bit brighter, but overall it's effective enough. You can tell it's also lit and all the pages here can be fully read. Now if I want to switch over to the photo scanning mode, I can tap on the dial once, the light will turn off for a second. And more importantly, on the very top, we can see that the LCD display pop onto life because if we're standing upright to scan a book, as we turn pages, and of course the foot pedal would be on the floor, you can still get a preview of what the scanner is actually looking at. Moving to the companion app, it's simply called Caesar. You can find it as a free download. And the interface here allows you to tap to add a device. So you can tap on Aura Pro since this is our model. And afterwards, we can control things such as the temperature of the LEDs. If we want it to be a natural versus reading, writing, computer, your phone or a smart night light mode. So depending on what you're looking at, you can change the temperature. You can tap on information that gives you more info about the temperature of the light under these specific modes to help improve your kind of eye fatigue, things like that. Now, the most interesting thing about this app is it actually doesn't use Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to connect to the lamp. So as you can see here, our Bluetooth is turned completely off and our Wi-Fi is still connected to our router. Uh, basically what, what it uses is a microphone and sound. So it converts sound which the app produces and it has a small microphone built into the lamp and once it hears that sound it triggers a function so for instance if I tap on plus you can hear that sound it corresponds to getting brighter versus dimmer or turning the light completely off so that means you have to be relatively close. Uh, if you are too far away and the microphone can't pick up that beep, it's not gonna register and change mode. So you can't control it from a different room. But it is a very clever implementation that I've never seen before on any other smart device. One is the computer mode. This is the night light mode, so it's more of a mood lamp. 
This is the reading mode, which is the brightest. And this one is a natural light mode. Let's move over to take a closer look at the scan performance and immediately you can tell that it has kind of AI software to try and detect uh, the position of any object that you place in front of it. So right now we have a laptop here just to save on space, but it has this trapezoid shape because it's trying to scan this as a sheet of paper. So it has these edge detection modes that uh, will change depending on whatever, whatever paper shape you put in front of it, which is pretty cool. I can also choose facing pages, so like a novel or a book where it's a little bit more complex, I can scan two pages at once and flatten the image using the software and I can also have a manual selection so if I only want a certain section on a report or a paper I can also scan only that section so let's do a demo of a scan in real time I'm just gonna put this book here in a slightly lopsided position as the software tries to figure out what the size of this book is it's detected the edges uh, very well and now it's focused in the contrast is also sharpened now saving the scan so both in color and in black and white, which I tried out previously. And here's our beautiful scan. Everything cropped and just very aligned in terms of positioning. Nothing is off angle and we have plenty of detail as well to zoom in and crop just because we have 14 megapixels. We can even see all these small scratches. So let's try scanning some other text. And it's also processed our previous scans, actually dividing into two different images here, left and right, for the two sections of the book. You can see that everything outside of the border is completely black and dark, done through the software. So it's cutting off the edges really well, and there's also a virtual line that is where the center point of the two-paged book. And here's that book uh, text that we just scanned. We can zoom in again, very, very clear and easy to read. Now for the manual selection mode, let's say I only want this part of the code to show up in a report or at saving it as a PDF, we can actually highlight it using the software here. So let's just drag over this little box and I can click on that and that is what will be scanned. So if I tap on this once, uh, that's our next save, which will show up down below here. Exiting from the scan screen, the app also allows you to edit it even further. So you can select on an image that you've just scanned, and from here you're able to do things like crop, rotate, uh, change the color, adjust things like ISO, and you can even add different effects. Finally, you can export it as a Word, Excel, or PDF. So if you export it as a Word file, and here we are. This is the converted file into a text format, which we can now copy, paste, and make quick edits if we need to. So it can convert your notes into this uh, text format for easy kind of editing later on. So that's the Caesar Aura. It addresses the problem of scanning books and notes too slowly in a very effective way. It has a very modern lamp design, and I think for the price, it's actually a very fair purchase. Uh, only things to keep in mind, though, is in terms of smart features, uh, it doesn't actually use Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, so you aren't able to save those scans onto a tablet or a smartphone, for example. The scans themselves are of high quality, it's really fast, the software detects edges super well, and the brightness of the lamp is also very much adequate just for reading as well. So you can check out more details about the Caesar Aura in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews, a very impressive, unique, smart scanning table lamp.